What's the worst, Chicago? Yo, what's the word Chicago? This your boy JT from South Island Brand, and today I'm here with Pierre from Lost World USA. Um, so, <laughs> tell us, how did you start uh, your journey of designing? Um, so actually, my dad um, is a graphic designer, and he's been a graphic designer for some years now, probably like 10 years. Um, so he's the one that really like um, got me into like you know art and graphic design and stuff like that. But um, my boy just here um, from Stock Boy, he was the one. He he was egging me for like not egging me, but he was like telling me for like a year straight like, bro, just start a brand. Cause I I, I used to do reselling, and reselling was like slowing down and stuff. Cause I really didn't uh, get to explore my creative side and reselling, shit like that. So just here was like, bro, just start a brand. And I was like, man. I don't even know for real. You know, I just said last summer, um, literally two days after my birthday, July 7th, I was like, fuck it, I'm finna start that shit. So I started it, dropped a collection of hoodies, and just went from there. Okay. So, tell us about like some of the clothing and like fashion that influenced you. So, influenced my brand or just influenced me? You in general, because okay. side note, for, I remember, I think I followed, like, I don't know, bro, it was either you follow me or you follow me on my Explore page, bro, and mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, this nigga fly mm -hmm. as hell, bro, and yeah. that was like in 2021, bro, I remember DMing you that, bro, so, yeah, yeah. so, like, what really drew you to fashion? Shit, I really started fashion in, like, junior year, like, pandemic, like, um, pandemic, I really started looking at that shit, TikTok is actually what, like, really I started like looking at other I looked at other niggas they weren't like crazy drip but it, it was like that beginner shit like that you know cargo flannel shit like that right. so I just started getting shit like that putting that on and my homie um my drippy twin Cam um he we me and him just started you know getting drippy together um over quarantine and then um senior year um we just started putting that shit on um yeah and my nigga um this nigga on there's a model He's called Wisdom. Um, Y'all know who Wisdom is? Yeah, yeah. 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 That nigga is trippy as hell. <laughs> bro, that's crazy. I can't wait to get to his level. That's that's gonna take some some real some time and some money because he that's the bread right there. But he's he he definitely I be watching his TikTok. I used to watch his TikTok all the time. He's the one that definitely used to make me get inspired to like go crazy with the with the fashion shit. Okay. So when it comes to like designing for Lost Worlds. Where do you like draw inspiration from? Like, is there any like designers that you look up to in a sense, or like think like, oh, well, they got the bad shit that like kind of inspire you? Mm -hmm. Um, recently, um, I do. If y'all know about Hellstar, yeah. their their brand, they they shit is very hard. I be I be looking at them for inspiration. Um, um, I also I also look around at like local Chicago businesses. Shit, I know um, my boy Cole from Bodies of Water. He 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 be designing some of my shirt. He just designed the last my last shirt, um, my Lost World white and black shirt. It says Save the Planet. He designed that. So I be asking him for commissions. He be designing some of my shit. But um, yeah, Hellstar and I just be look. I be looking on Instagram and I be seeing like my for you page on my main account is like straight like designs from like brands and um, their commissions. So I be getting inspiration all around through Instagram too. So you want to like collaboration, like how often do you find yourself collaborating with others? Or like seeking like commission? So when I, I did get into collaborating um, when I first got to Howard. Um, my brand wasn't that popping on campus, but um, people were telling me that, I actually had someone tell me that I wasn't taking my shit as seriously as it could be. Mm -hmm. So then I was like, okay, man, I'm, I'm gonna step this shit up. So then, um, Howard is like full of straight, it's full of hella creative motherfuckers. So I just collab all around campus with um, people who just not even like do only clothing, like art. Um, Y'all should, if you if you really want to get your brand like expanded, collab with people that are not just in 
like clothing. Like I did collab with people that's in the art scene, like this do art. Um, people are in photography. I collab with a lot of people in photography. Um, I'm part of this organization at Howard called HOLE Models. So, you know, everybody in there is straight creative, like graphic design, photography, modeling. Like, I collab with all of them. And that's what really got my brand popping on, on campus and, and even like on Instagram and stuff like that. What's your opinion on the Chicago art scene? And like, how does it compare to um, your experience at Howard? Um, the Chicago art scene, I, th I believe the Chicago art scene is one of the, actually the, the greatest art scenes in, in the world, to be honest. People um, really inspire each other. They might, they may not exactly want to help each other all the time, because Chicago is like one of those cities, it's like, you really, you really come up on your own. And if you have your, like, your team, then you, you know, you come up with your team. But niggas don't be really trying to, like, help each other out and shit like that. So the Chicago art scene is great. Um, I began a lot of my inspiration from people in the art scene, and when I got to Howard, um, I feel like I feel like niggas ain't really seen like the Chicago art really until like I don't want to say until I got there because that's kind of dragging it. But like I really I really did my shit on campus like really representing uh, Chicago with my Lost World shit and just like creativity in general. So niggas really, niggas really fuck with my shit on Howard campus because you know because I'm from Chicago. What was, what was your creative process like being in school, you know, having to manage, you know, building the brand and like school work? Yeah, um, so at first, at first semester, it was, it was kind of slow on my brand because I was really trying to focus on school. Um, shit, you on a dean's list, that shit ain't happening though. <laughs> but I was really trying to focus on school and I really focused too much on my brand. Um, so yeah, that was slow. Um, and then second semester is when I really like got started on my brand at Howard doing pop-ups and shit doing more uh, photography and shoots around campus so and I actually didn't have that much work to do like I know niggas be thinking like Howard is some crazy ass work packed shit but I really didn't have that much work to do since I was, I was only a freshman so it was it was kind of it was kind of easy uh, to do my brand and my work I had way more time on my hands so it, it was a fun experience yeah but I, I i would say like anybody that is coming up um that's just getting to college or some shit like if you have your brand and if you have your your work like don't stress about like trying to balance one over the other like you you always if you manage your time wisely you gonna have time like you want to go party on the weekend as opposed to staying in the crib, making some TikToks, making some reels about your brand, and, or just building your brand in general on the weekends. If your if your weekdays packed, then that's you know, you know that's your choice. Yeah. So I chose I chose to make that right decision. Like of course I went to parties and shit, but I also had to make sure like this shit was like my priority. Okay, respect that for sure. When do you know like you're ready to drop your clothing? When I know I'm ready to drop my clothing. So actually, um, I just, I just actually, you know, I'm still mastering the art of patience. So when I first started dropping, like, I was just, you know how every artist, they just be like, when they first start, they just be putting shit out there and then they realize they do not like this shit at yeah, all, yeah. bro. Yeah, that's how I was. I put out my first, uh, first few collections and then I was like, man, I just rushed that shit. I, I realized I rushed it and I was like, yeah, this is not, this is not actually what I wanted to come out. but. It's another part of that where, cause I know I know people be asking me like, they be asking me questions about how to start up a brand and stuff, and they be like, they be like trying to learn, they be trying trying to master graphic design before they even start. So I be telling them like you, it's not really like that. Like really you gotta you gotta you know learn it and then drop some stuff as you're getting better. Cause if you try to master that shit before you even drop anything. You're gonna be waiting forever, and you right. you're never you're gonna miss your opportunity. You're gonna miss your chance. So, really, it's just I have to master the art of patience. I get my designs. Um, I I get some opinions from people, not just my friends, because you know sometimes your friends tell you that shit hard. It right. might not be. So I get some opinions, post on Instagram, um, and then when I know, you know, when I know, when I feel like this shit is gonna be good, it's gonna sell. Um, then, I, then I'll be ready to drop. But first, I actually do, um, I do like one to two weeks of promotion 
for my job. So Instagram ads, Facebook ads, um, really creative shoots on Instagram, TikToks and Reels. So after about two weeks of promotion, then I'll, then I'll you know, finally drop them already. So, what would you say your plans are going to be for the rest of the year? For the rest of the year? What, what month is it? It's May. Yeah, it's May. Um, I know for this summer, I definitely want to start doing uh, more showcases. Um, I actually, we should collect. I was actually talking to um, my homies about planning a fashion show mm -hmm. for my anniversary release. Yeah. My anniversary release is July 7th, and my birthday is also July 5th. So I definitely want to do a, a big ass fashion show for my anniversary release and like collab with like um, uh, like creatives around Chicago, they brands and shit, and I have y'all in it. Like kind of like a kind of like a showcase type thing. Like y'all interview um, artists and. Uh, designers and then they showcase their shit in the fashion show. Maybe oh. like a whole big thing like that. Um, I also do want to throw um, not necessarily parties, but like, but actually, you know how niggas be doing like um, album release parties? Yeah. I want to start doing like collection release parties on some, yeah, on some crazy shit. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like nobody's ever done no shit like that. Like, collection release parties. I want to do that and you know keep doing more creative shit and shoots and shit around. Uh, around Chicago for the summer. But when I do get back to Howard, I definitely am trying to throw parties. Um, Cause I know they parties on there be lit, but I feel like they don't know what a Chicago party is for real. So yeah, definitely want to start throwing Chicago parties. Um, keep doing fashion shows on campus. Keep collaborating with uh, people doing shoots on campus. And um, I damn near want to, I damn near want to host like a uh, annual Lost World Festival at Howard. So I have like I have like artists around campus having their shit. Maybe get a couple of celebrities in there if I can, if I get the connects. And yeah, shit like that. So I'm trying to I'm trying to go big this year. No problem. Mm -hmm. yeah, I definitely look forward to seeing what you got in stock for us, bro. Yeah, yeah. Shit, I ain't gonna lie, them sweatpants you just dropped. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna go cop them. I'm not wearing them right now, but I am wearing the hoodie. The hoodie. Make sure y'all go get the set at home for that shit too, five. That's where USA.com. Appreciate you sliding out having a conversation with you. Shit, man. So, uh, it was hard. Hey, shout out South Island Brand, go crazy. Wow. Uh.